This video is going to be a long one and somewhat of a more researched video than I've done in the past on subjects like this, mainly because I want to get everything right because obviously this guy is somewhat of a hero of mine so I don't want anything to be left out. First we have to go into who Vic Mignogna is. Vic is an American voice actor, known probably most famously for Edward Elric in the Full Metal Alchemist dub and a variety of other characters such as Broly from Dragon Ball, Ikaku Madarami from Bleach and a slew of other characters in animes such as Ruby Full Metal Panic and Oren High School Host Club. Obviously if I've butchered any of those names I do apologise, I'm dyslexic so it's hard for me to read English names, never mind Japanese names. Now that we have those basic information out of the way, you may be wondering why I'm making this video, and why this video is called what it is called. Well, on this channel I cover false accusations against people. I have a playlist full of them and I've covered the Johnny Depp false accusations from Amber Heard from the beginning, but this video has taken me a while to muster the courage to want to sit down and write. Even as I'm typing and now reading this, I'm wondering whether or not it will make much or it will get my channel mobbed by people. Hopefully it doesn't because obviously that's not nice, but I feel it is my duty to make this video after all. I make videos on the falsely accused and Vic is one of those falsely accused. It shouldn't matter whether I'd like my videos to remain up or to have my channel left alone. It is my duty to have a video addressing this out there. I'm going to go into as much detail as I possibly can so obviously please bear with me as I go through this video and obviously please excuse the old format because obviously this kind of video deserves my full attention and not just me reading something off of the screen. So without further ado let's actually get into the actual video and cover the topic of the false accusations. This all started around the release of Dragon Ball Z Broly, the new recent Dragon Ball movie featuring one of Vic's long time voice roles. As the movie was being released, some tweets started servicing accusing Vic of various inappropriate things with underage fans at conventions. While there are a number that can't be credited or discredited, meaning there's no proof one way or the other, there are a number of them that have been outright discredited and proven as false. But no matter what way they go, whether they are discredited or can't be credited, they all seem to come from anonymous Twitter pages, or they did at first. That was until Mars Girl decided to drop the tweet we see on screen now. Hard to say this, especially on a night that a Dragon Ball Z film dropped, and knowing that I have friends slash acquaintances at Funny, but at Funimation, I think it may be time to reconsider hiring Vic Mignana as a voice actor in the future due to the years of great volumes of sexual misconduct. Then she goes on to say, does this need like a hashtag or something? Something like, I don't know, hashtag kick Vic. Or does that evoke too much of an image of physically kicking him rather than giving him the boot. I don't know WTF I'm doing, I don't create hashtags. And this basically set off a litany of people quote unquote exposing him as a sexual, uh, someone who sexually assaults people and has sexual misconduct allegations against him. Even though none of these people seem to be able to back up their claims about him, they could only seem to drop their claim and run. Many people later started using the the hashtag as a way to attack anyone who basically asked for evidence but that will come later but this is when Monica Riel and Jamie Marchi decided they wanted to chime in with their own quote-unquote stories about Vic Mignogna themselves now I will like to point out that the moment you ask them for any proof of their claims or any veracity or any proof as to the validity of what they're trying to claim and they will block you and then they will say about American children being shot in school as evidence here from Jamie March you know I have a clip that I want to include in this from Vic Mignano himself explaining some things so obviously I'll play that and then I will come back that means Jamie Monica Sabat Kara Edwards DC Douglas others they've all pretended to be my friends when it benefited them to do so. As for the rest of the vocal haters, they have no connection to this situation at all, except for the lies that they've chosen to tell. They don't know me. They've not spent any significant amount of time with me. They are just desperate attention seekers jumping on this bandwagon for whatever relevance or clout they think they can get out of it. 
I won't even mention their names because they're not important. That's exactly what they would want. Attention. I did not admit to what Jamie Markey accused me of. I clarified it. I have never in any way, shape, or form had any attraction whatsoever to Jamie Markey. But I did think we were good friends. We'd done a lot of conventions together. We worked on a lot of shows together. And we've always been friends to each other. One day I was playing with and complimenting a friend that I saw on a regular basis at Funimation as friends do. You've seen videos of her messing with me at convention years after her alleged story. As recently as one week, I'm not kidding, one week before all of this garbage started last year, I was in the lobby at Funimation. And I, as I had been hundreds of times before, and Jamie walked in, and guess what she said? Hi, hon. How was your Christmas? One week before the garbage. And think about that. To you guys who have actually been assaulted, first of all, I'm I am so sorry. I have received so many shortly after this all came to light funimation put out a tweet that says everyone we wanted to give you an update on the vic manana situation following an investigation of funny Ma uh, funimation recast vic manana in morrow's uh whatever season two funimation will not be engaging manana in the future productions part of our core mission is to celebrate the diversity of the anime community and to share our love for the genre as its positive impact on all we do not condone any kind of harassment or threatening behavior being directed at anyone yeah but the thing is these same people have not done anything about uh Monica Rial or Jamie Marchi or anyone threatening anyone who stands by Vic. They leave them to their own devices and they basically support them in every action they do by continuing to keep them cast in the roles that they have them in. Even so much as so as they say they like uh, they celebrate the diversity in the anime community, yet they only seem to cast these same people in specific uh in specific animes. Every single anime I seem to enjoy has either one or multiple of these same people in different or various roles during them. They don't seem to diverse the pool enough in my opinion but as I said that's my opinion and that's not really relative to the course I'm just adding that in there because obviously I like pointing out hypocrisies and this tends to be the biggest hypocrisy I can see but obviously there was a con there is con footage of Vic Mignogna addressing the allegations against him so I'm going to find that and I'm going to compress it down to as little or as small as I possibly can so this video isn't too long for you guys while obviously keeping the core message in place so obviously I'll find that and that should play next I don't want it to be a down but I, I, I would like to say some things. Is that okay? Yes. There will be tears. So I want to apologize for that. For those of you that may not know, and God bless you for not knowing, <laughs> um, there's been a lot of ugliness lately um, and things online. As I've been reflecting over the last 10 days, uh, over the last couple of weeks, I've, I've been doing a lot of soul searching. You know, when difficult things happen, at first you're kind of angry, right? You're mad. But then you you take a step back and you're like, what, what am I supposed to learn here? How could I be better? How could I do better? And I learned something. And I wanted to share it with you. As long as I've been doing events, which is a long time, <laughs> I've always been very demonstrative. Hug everybody, you know what I mean? I've all, that's just, that's just always been who I am. You could go back and find panels from 10, or Q and A, or autograph sessions from 10 years ago, 12, 15 years ago. And I'm doing the same thing. I, I, that, in my mind, it's, it's a way of saying thank you and expressing kindness and, and appreciation and warmth and support for a lot of people that could use it. You know what I'm talking about when I say that. But here's what I've learned.
Just because a thousand people want to hug doesn't mean everybody does. And I got really lazy. Over the years, I got really lazy. And I got used to being the same person all the time. And I was insensitive to the fact that there could be people out there that don't want that. What we have in that last clip is basically Vic coming out and saying he got lazy when it comes to people wanting to meet him. He had been that way for the past decade, decade and a half, maybe two decades. The same amount of time the people who are now falsely accusing him have known him. If they knew about his quote unquote sexual harassment and sexual misconduct or cl uh, claims about him, surely they should have come forward more soon or sooner. This video isn't exactly as long as I was hoping it was going to be and is, it isn't exactly as structured as I was hoping it was going to be either. This is basically just me coming out in defence of Vic, something that I should have done a long, long time ago, but I was kind of scared that my channel would get ransacked by these people. But, in all honesty, I've got past the point where I actually care what they say. I support Vic. I will always support Vic. These accusations are nothing but false uh, false things thrown at him. Now, he did try to sue, but unfortunately, he lost the cases because when it comes to this sort of thing, it is harder when you're a public figure to basically have any protections against accusations or the such because obviously you have a higher, you have a higher uh, burden of proof that people don't have to necessarily prove stuff against you. They can just claim it and obviously being in the limelight, that's something that comes with being famous and being well known to people in a community or being well known to being known to people. But obviously, as I said, this isn't exactly as structured as I wanted to do. Obviously, this is basically me just wanting to put my support out there for Vic and to set the record straight that I honestly do not believe these people. I have covered numerous examples of false accusations on this channel. I will link to those in the description down below or and to the playlist because obviously when it comes to this sort of thing, you have to take it with a pinch of salt. It's quite easy to go to someone that you dislike and accuse them of doing something abhorrent such as sexual misconduct or sexual assault with underage fans. That is the truth in this matter. People can come out and basically say the same against Monica Rial or any of those like. In fact, people have. It's just not gotten as much wind as or in itself as they would have with Vic or it has with Vic because obviously they don't seem to want to apply the same standards to Monica Rial, Jamie Marchi, Ron Toy, any of those people. Chris Sabat got accused of running a casting couch from Funimation but that just seems to have disappeared. If they don't support your views and if they don't think you're part of the clique they will try to force you out and that's precisely what's happened with Vic Bignana. I stand with Vic. I will always stand with Vic and no matter what happens, I don't care what you people throw my way, whether it be positive or negative. Not the positive, but if it comes to it and you guys throw a bunch of negative my way, then so be it. I will accept that. But prove what you are claiming next time, because obviously it's quite easy to just say something. It's harder to prove. Anyway, I, I, I apologise that this video probably isn't what you're expecting it to be, but then again, there we are. Anyway, I'd like to see you all in the next video, so please have a wonderful time and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.